What's up everybody, it's Matt from Peter Glenn and in this video we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about how a snowboard works. Let's check this out. So one thing that I found throughout the years of selling snowboards is that when someone knows exactly how a snowboard works, it really, really helps you make a little bit more educated decisions when you are buying a new board and you know all these little things about how it works in general. And then you can actually take that and apply it to all the pieces and parts and technologies and things that actually go into the snowboards, no matter how new or old they are. And it can really help you make an educated decision as to what board you should buy. So in general, a snowboard, you've got a shape to the board. The board has somewhat of a bend, whether it's camber, a rocker, any way that you know, the board is basically bent from tip to tail. Those all do a little bit different things, but that's for a completely different video, which we will have up soon, if it's not already up on our YouTube. But again, the board has a certain bend to it that's gonna tell it how to ride. But no matter what, we have somewhat of a rounded shape to the nose usually, sometimes a little bit more of a pointed square shape, but most of the time it has somewhat of a rounded shape to the nose. The snowboard has what's called kick up in the nose and the tail, and that basically just makes sure that the nose or the tail is not going to catch in the snow, whether it's riding this way or riding that way. Some boards have a little bit more, some boards have a little bit less, but it really just depends on that specific board and its riding style. Then your board also has a flex to it, and that's basically comes with what's inside the board and how the board is built. Softer flexes have a little bit easier feels, stiffer flexes have a little bit stiffer, quicker, snappier feels. And that literally comes with the materials that go into the board. But then how it works is the board has a side cut. So we have a side cut, which is basically from here to here. And then we call that the effective edge. And that's basically, the snowboard has a certain length. This one has a 155 centimeter length to it. But when you actually tip this thing up on edge, there's the effective edge. And that's basically where the edge touches here and where the edge touches here. So the edge is basically part of a circle. If we take a circle that's this big, that much of it, that's the side cut. So if we have what they call a deeper side cut, that means a smaller circle, but it also means a deeper side cut so the board can carve a little bit harder. If you have a larger circle and a mellower side cut, then the board can actually, it's a little bit smoother and easier feeling because it's not wanting to turn really, really sharp. So how that works is when you tip this board up, obviously right now with the board sitting flat and you standing on it, that helps flatten the board out a little bit. But when you tip this thing up on edge, now the board's actually not touching here. So when you stand on it, you flex the board and you touch that edge and you're basically flexing that whole edge down, that whole circle. And as soon as you set that down in the snow, now the board actually wants to carve and it wants to travel on that circle. So again, if we have that tighter side cut, that deeper side cut, it'll want to carve on a tighter circle. If we have that longer side cut, it wants to carve on a larger circle. So again, that just depends on the board and how it's meant to ride. And you know, this thing again, does have the certain flexes. And when you are standing on this board, you're flexing the board down and the board is pushing back. And that's how the board doesn't just wash out from underneath you. If you are too big for your board, or if you are riding too fast and the board, you're putting too much pressure on it, the board can't push back. That's when the board slides out from underneath you. But again, depending on your riding style, if you are riding faster and harder, or you are a bigger rider, or heavier rider, you do wanna have a little bit stiffer board that can push back more. But if you're just kind of having a nice, easy feel, cruising through the park, you got that softer board, or you are a smaller rider, usually you're gonna have that softer board, you don't need it to push back as much. All those things combined, that's how every single snowboard works. If you got any questions beyond what we talked about in this video, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that it's gonna fit you, it's gonna fit your riding style, Style and you can understand exactly what you're buying. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new snowboard, get out and ride. Any day of riding is a good day of riding.